east of England is continuing to endure the worst of the heat wave, which will continue through this week. 32 degrees at Marham and 31 at Humberside, which is tied for the monthly July record for that location. Elsewhere, 31 is quite common in eastern areas, cooler in the north and west, but still fairly warm. Low temperatures overnight were 12 degrees in Stornoway and Lurick in Scotland, uh, 14 in Brighton, and those were the coldest temperatures as we came into the early hours of this morning. So looking at what's to come later on today, you can see quite a few showers mainly in the north and east of the country moving out into the North Sea overnight. Um, most areas south of the Scottish border should stay dry. Uh, looking at the temperatures there, down to around 10 to 14 in Scotland, over in the Republic of Ireland, down to around 14 or 15, so a little bit cooler than last night in the north and west, but probably warmer than last night in the south and east under those clear skies, 18 the low in the London area. Coming into Tuesday, a slender band of rain moving through the day, mainly light, but uh, enjoy it whilst it lasts. It will take the edge off the heat in those locations that are lucky enough to get that rain. 20 degrees generally in Scotland, uh, in Ireland and Northern Ireland around 22, maybe the odd patchy shower here and there, partly cloudy overall. And England and Wales, it's hit and miss with those showers as well, but if you do get them, they could end up being fairly heavy, as you'd expect really at this time of year in these kinds of conditions. Uh, most of the rain will have moved away by the night. Um, coming into Wednesday morning, it will start off clear and then it will end up getting cloudier, mainly in the west. One or two small bands just about to move into Ireland there, but look at those low temperatures, 14 or 15 in the west, only down to 20 in the London area as we enter Wednesday morning. So this is what Wednesday looks like, partly cloudy for most of us, a little bit of rain for northern parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, but in the east of England and south and maybe towards the southwest as well, high temperatures again up to around 30 degrees, little wind, partly cloudy, the sun will be uh, beating down on those areas in the south of England. Thursday night, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday rather, mostly clear for pretty much all of us but you can see that extratropical low off to the west over the Atlantic that will be having uh, a significant impact over the next few days uh, but at the minute uh, it's still lingering off the coast and that means that Thursday is going to be a very hot day just ahead of that system. Uh, it will feel fairly oppressive I should imagine, humidity will probably be building and temperatures could get up to 33 or even 34 degrees in the eastern part of England even if it does rain later on. Uh, this system moving through then uh, with some extremely heavy rain quite possible for parts of Ireland and the Western Isles of Scotland as we enter the early hours of Friday. A little bit of rain here and there coming from the continent as well overnight ahead of that into the North Sea, uh, but partly cloudy and clear overall in central and northern parts of England. And you can see those low temperatures coming into Friday morning there, really not cooling down at all, not very much. Coming into Friday then, a deluge of rain for parts of Scotland we're expecting. This is getting somewhat long range, so this could change in timing, uh, but in parts of England there, not as much rain. Should still be something moving through, uh, but still, if the sun pops out, which it's likely to do at some point, the temperature could still reach 32 degrees in parts of southeastern England. Entering Friday night into Saturday morning, clear skies behind that band it could still be blustery as it would have been windy the previous day as well uh, and still some residual rainfall off the western coasts of our islands uh, but fairly calm picture as we enter Saturday uh, and let's uh, take a look at what Saturday holds that rain moving through from the west affecting most of Ireland into Scotland and this may well begin a phase of more extratropical cyclones moving in and maybe some more rainfall that we need here's hoping temperatures still staying high though despite that up to around 27 ahead of that next front on Saturday but again that could change you can find more updates on our Facebook page, Force 13 UK in Ireland. You can also uh, follow our warnings page, which will be activated now, force13.com forward slash UK warn dot HTML.